So are you one of those millions of people who are feeling bloated and you're wondering what the heck is going on? Well in this video today, I'll give you the top three reasons why people are bloated. If you wait to the very end of the video, I'll give you my top five tips you can do today to help out with your bloating. Let's talk about poop. So bloating sucks. It is terrible. I know a lot of people suffer from this. I have a lot of patients who come see me for their bloating issues. It is such an uncomfortable feeling, that sensation of feeling like you have air in your belly, like you're pregnant all the time, or you're carrying a basketball. It just sucks no matter what. Well, there are three main reasons why you may be having bloating. Number one is, if you're eating bad food, you're gonna have bloating. It's as simple as that. If you eat crappy, you are going to feel crappy. There are so many people who don't eat well, and that's the reason why your stomach feels bad. Guys, don't come to see me complaining of bloating when you just came back from McDonald's having a Big Mac, or coming back from Burger King and having a Whopper. If you're eating crappy food, you're gonna feel crappy. And the foods that we eat currently in the fast food industry is making you more bloated and making your gut issues a lot worse. So bad food can be a number one reason why you're having bloating. A second reason is you could be having bad bacteria. There's a good number of patients who suffer from a condition called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or SIBO, S-I-B-O. So SIBO is an abnormal growth of bad bacteria that occurs within the small intestine for any number of different reasons. But when you have all this bad bacteria, these bacteria, like to multiply and produce more and more babies and grow more and more and more. And as they're growing, they produce all sorts of gas and fermentation and a lot of smelly stuff inside your gut. And that can make you feel bloated and have a big belly. But in addition to that, it can cause you to have diarrhea, abdominal pain, weakness, anemia, and feelings overall crappy. And so if you have a condition called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth that can lead to another condition called IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. We are seeing a good number of patients who have IBS in which the root cause is an abnormal growth of bad bacteria. The third reason may be just bad carbohydrates. So you may be one of those who eats healthy. You, you have a strict diet. You watch what you're eating, but despite that, you're feeling bloated. But there are a lot of foods which actually are healthy for you, but it could be a reason why you're bloated. Things like broccoli or apples. Very healthy foods, good for your GI tract, but maybe bad for your bloating. And in fact, there are certain carbohydrates called the FODMAPs, F-O-D, M-A-P-S, which are typically healthy foods, but if you have too much of them, they can cause a lot of gut issues, including bloating. So now that we talked about the three main reasons why you have bloating, here are my five tips to help out with bloating that you can implement today. Try these tips, see if they work. If they work, fantastic. If they don't, you may want to speak to your healthcare provider. Tip number one, avoid artificial sweeteners. So artificial sweeteners are exactly what they say. They are sweeteners which are artificial. Yes, Captain Obvious, I said that, but that is true. So a lot of us need to sweeten our food, and a lot of companies want to sweeten their food, but they don't want to add the extra calories from sugar. So they made these artificial sweeteners, which are great for making things sweet, but can be bad for your gut. So if you look on the ingredients, you see the term mannitol or sorbitol. These are very common ingredients in artificial sweeteners. And what happens is that whenever you eat those foods, your body can't digest them. So they act as an atomic bomb going inside your GI tract, producing a lot of gas, a lot of bloating, a lot of diarrhea, all sorts of gut issues. These are found very commonly in sugarless gums, candies, condiments like ketchup or mustard. So things like Splenda. Splenda! Splenda everywhere! Even medications that taste sweet to help you take those medications. Blech. Yes, that's exactly what they do. Number two, and this is pretty obvious, avoid carbonated beverages. So I am a big sparkling water drinker, but I notice if I drink a lot of sparkling water, I get bloated. Duh, I didn't put one and one together until quite some time ago. If I am drinking something that has a lot of carbonation in it, guess what? I'm gonna have a lot of that gas inside my belly to cause a lot of bloating to occur. So you may want to avoid sodas, diet drinks, beer, 
sparkling water. These are things that have a lot of gas in them. And guess what? If you drink things with a lot of gas, you're gonna have a lot of gas yourself. Number three, you gotta poop. So if you are constipated, that's going to make it more difficult to take care of your bloating. Your colon and your GI tract is one big long tube. If part of your GI tract is clogged up like the colon, things are gonna back up and that backing up is gonna produce a lot of gas. So if you're having a lot of bloating and you have constipation, if you can fix the constipation, you can typically fix the bloating. And if you need help with that, I have a lot of videos on what you can do to help out with constipation. Number four, move your body. Yes. That is me moving my body. If you move your body, your whole body will be happy. There is literally no organ that doesn't benefit from you moving your body. Your heart will love you, your lungs will love you, your gut will love you, everything will love you. The more you move, the more things move inside your colon and your GI tract to move gas down, to move poop out, and to get air out as well. In fact, moving produces what's called the gastric colic reflux. Very fancy term we have in the medical world, but basically it is a reflex between your stomach and your small intestine that can be activated whenever you move. And so the more you move, the better it's going to be to help out with your bloating. Tip number five, you may want to consider removing dairy. So I didn't realize until later on in life that I was lactose intolerant. So when I was younger, I used to have all the cheese, ice cream, milk. I love that stuff. Oh. Man, that sounds so good. But as I got older, I could not eat that anymore. Whenever I have ice cream or have milk, I get a lot of gas, a lot of bloating. So I became lactose intolerant as I got older. This may be the same thing for you. You may be one of those people that was able to tolerate dairy products when you were younger. But as you get older, you may lose that ability. It's very common to have that. So one of the things we recommend is to try to minimize or eliminate dairy. So in summary, the five things we recommend. Number one, try to avoid artificial sweeters. Number two, try to avoid or minimize carbonated drinks. Number three, try to poop. Number four, move your body. And number five, try to minimize dairy. Try these five things, see if they work. If they work, fantastic. If they don't, you may wanna consider speaking to your healthcare provider. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos just like this one, don't forget to smash the like button on the YouTube page and subscribe to my weekly newsletter. I'll put a link down below. If you want more videos to help out with bloating, click over here. Or if you want recommendations to help out with constipation, click over here. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Stay happy and stay healthy. I know a lot of people suffer from this and I have a lot of patients who come, uh, golly. Good for your GI tract, but maybe bad for, but maybe, golly. Tip number one. What is tip number one? I forgot. So if I'm drinking water, or sorry, if I'm drinking some, ah, moving your body can help out with everything in your body. Golly, that's the wrong thing. So when I was younger, I used to have all the, yeah. Or if you want other videos to click out, got to click out. I love this splendor, but I get bloated, blah. All right, thank you much.